After a long career of chesed, in this week's parasha, Avram Avinu buries his wife, Vayavah Avraham Lispodot Sarav Kosa, he says hesped, he cries, he goes through all the chasadim involved in the death and in, in taking care of a loved one. The Medrash tells us that the Smichos parashas after Avram Avinu buries Sarah, Vavraham Zakein Babayamim, the Medrash says, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says to Avram Avinu, Tafasta umanusi bo lavosh lavushi. Since you engaged in my business, my chesed, HaKadosh Baruch Hu's gomel chasadim, from the beginning of the Torah to the end of the Torah, you engaged in my umnis, you took up chesed, come wear my garment. You'll be a zakein just like me. HaKadosh Baruch Hu described as a zakein, he's the Atik Yomin in Sefer Daniel. So Avram Avinu, he is babayamim, he like HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the question is, why is it Dafka at this point in Avram Avinu's career that he's described as Tafas Umanusi? Now he's called about Chesed, now he's taken on Akash Baruch's Chesed. Hare Avram Avinu from the very beginning. Nefesh Asher Asu Bukharan, he's Machnis Orchim, he brings in the three Malachim in last week's parasha. He chases it after Kedar La Omer to save Lot. He tries to do Chesed for Anshis Dom to save their lives. He's clearly been involved in Chesed for such a long time. And moreover, what's a greater chesed? Burying Sarah, that his own wife? Of, of course, there's a lot of tircha involved. Of course, there's difficulty at the negotiate with Ephraim. But would we expect anything less of any husband, and certainly Avram Avinu? How does that compare to going out to Be'er Sheva, where it's 115 degrees, and going looking for guests, and trying to chase Kedar Omer deep into, into Dun? Those were true chasadim where he put himself out there, he went far out of his comfort zone, presumably, in order to engage in chesed. Why is Davka this chesed of burying Sarah, why does that make Avram Avinu the paradigm of chesed? Tafas Nusi, you've taken up my chesed, Bola Vosh Levushi. Why Davka here does a Karaj Baruch Hu know Avram Avinu's attachment to the Midah of chesed? The Alta of Slabodka explains, based on a Pasuk in Mishlei. Gomel nafsho ish chesed. Strange Pasuk, api pshuto shal mikra, it sounds like the Pasuk says, that a person who benefits himself, he's an ish chesed, he's the bal chesed, the paradigm of chesed is the one who benefits himself. And hare edvarim tzrichim beyer. How could it be? Again, presumably true chesed is when one helps another person, when one goes out of his way. He, he's toreach for somebody else, but to help myself, where's the chesed? The author explains that really the Midas HaChesed splits into three Chalakim. The last one is when we help another person. That's Vahat Elecha Kamocha exhibits itself when I help another person, I do for him. But Midas HaChesed is really at the core of it a Ben Adam La'atzmo and a Ben Adam La'makam as well. Because Midas HaChesed comes from Mahu Rachum it starts with Mahu Rachum recognizing Hakadosh Baruch Hu's Chesed. It continues into Avatahei Rachum. You, Ben Adam La'atzmo, try to become like Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and then when you become like Hakadosh Baruch Hu, then Gmol Chesed, do it for another person, just like Hakadosh Baruch Hu does for you. So there are three stages: recognizing Hakadosh Baruch Hu's Chesed, then becoming like Hakadosh Baruch Hu, then doing for others. And what's really the best chesed? What is it? Is it doing for others or for yourself? Let's think. When do we recognize HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed in the most profound way? When I help another person, if I give food, if I benefit, if I provide for another person, I, I certainly have helped him. Do I appreciate truly how much I've helped him? Do I appreciate how profoundly I changed his life? I can't. I don't know all of his stars. I don't know just what it means for him to have food on the table. But when I appreciate the chesed HaKadosh Baruch Hu does for me, when I can look at my table and say, wow, HaKadosh Baruch Hu has given me food, He hasn't just physically provided for me. He's given me the self-esteem. He's given me a healthy family life. He's given me the ability to host other people and, and to be a provider for others. I can think how profoundly has HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed truly benefited me. When it comes to Mahu Rachum, which is at the core of Miras HaChesed, the truth is that the chesed I do for another person doesn't come close to comparing to the chesed I do for myself. When Avram Avinu is kover Sarah, 
when he does chesed for Sara, you mean for his own she'er b'saro, he appreciated at the depth of Midas HaChesed, at the core of Midas HaChesed, he appreciated what a Baruch had done for him. In that moment, he achieved, to extent never before, Mahu Rachman. He appreciated the depth of a Baruch Hu's Chesed. I mean, Mela, all the Chesed he did from that point forward was a totally different Chesed. Because now, he has achieved a, a level of Mahu Rachman, of understanding a Baruch Hu's Chesed, such that his Afa Tehayi Rachman, his own personality, his tfisa of miras hachesed was different, and the chesed he did for others was now coming from a new place, a new appreciation of what miras hachesed really is. And that's why Dafka, at this juncture, HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, Tafasta Manusi, you've taken up my chesed, you, you've appreciated the core of miras hachesed by being gomel for your own life, now, Lavosh Lavushi. Similarly, gomel nacho ish chesed, a person who benefits himself, when a person goes to the supermarket and he swipes the card, and in that moment of swiping the card, he thinks to himself, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is showering me with chesed. That's the greatest ish chesed that there can be. The person who's providing for himself and understands the depth of HaKadosh Baruch Hu's chesed, of how profoundly it affects him, he is truly the ish chesed. And that's what we learn from Avram Avinu in this week's parasha, to be going on that show, is chesed to appreciate profoundly how HaKadosh Baruch Hu benefits us.